Michael Kelly went to St. John's Military School to build a better future for himself. But here in this picture, bound and blindfolded, Michael says he could not move beyond the culture of abuse at the school. They sent it to my mother's phone. I think they took my cell phone and most likely got her number out of there and then sent it to her. Kelly talked to Fact Finder 12 via the internet from Tennessee. He's one of the three most recent former students to join a federal lawsuit against the school. Kelly says the picture doesn't show the worst of it. I have a brand on my stomach, um, numerous cigarette burns, and oh, about 30 scars on my right arm. Another new plaintiff says both of his legs were broken. The complaint says staff and students dragged him by his ankles, shaking them wildly, kicked him in the knees, demanded he stand up on his broken legs. The complaint alleges this x-ray shows the student was abused so badly that the bone was displaced several inches below his knee. St. John's issued a new statement following these recent allegations. It says it denies the existence of a culture of abuse. It goes on to say some of the allegations in this lawsuit were investigated by law enforcement and no charges were filed. I want to get it out there that this is real and this is happening and I don't want other kids to suffer like I did. Kelly says he tried to kill himself by overdosing on prescription medication. I didn't really want to be there after seeing everything that was happening. This picture is now part of the lawsuit. St. John says it will respond to each allegation in the upcoming days. For the Fact Finder 12 investigators, I'm Melissa Shuffler.